I think for me, moving to Colorado when I was 29, uh, I feel like that was a hero's journey, a stage of my hero's journey. It's like, you know, kind of uh, moving away from my family, mm. all my friends that I like condition, you know, uh, people that I've been around that reflected <laughs> my current identity and then stepping into meeting new friends, having a different life. Um, different experiences um, yeah. starting that process but I was scared when I did it I, I was like I oh, wanted to go back but it was too late I had moved over there and like a, a, immediately I was thinking yeah. I need to go back yeah and we'd be fools if we weren't scared essentially, yeah because it, it is scary to go into the unknown and mm -hmm. what life is doing there it's calling us to enter the, the unknown aspects mm -hmm. of our mind of our psyche and um, the people that dare to go are the ones that end up transforming culture, transforming society, coming up with new ideas, new ways of doing things. And so it's an important function for human beings to have. Not everyone is called to do it or, or is able to, take, to accept the call. Maybe mm -hmm. that, that's a better way of putting it. But, but those of us that are willing to accept the call then we go on our journey and the first obstacle, the first uh, kind of hurdle that we have to face is our own fear. Like you mentioned, mm. our fear of the unknown, our fear of what's going to happen to me if I leave my happy home, my, my comfort zone. I see this with entrepreneurs. They start a business and the, the fears of, uh, you know, oh, this is so different than my corporate job and, and I'm on my own and I'm my yeah. own boss and, that, that hesitation of did I make the right decision and and uh, and you know, I think it's normal to have that and I think if people knew that it was normal they would not buy into the fear as much but to, to understand yeah. that fear is part of it like you're not like this idea that you're going to be fearless um, and live without fear is kind of dull I mean fear in itself is um, what we have to survive. Like it's it's a, it's a survival mechanism, but it's also energy. And so if we, we just let it basically d direct it, us to stop, it could be pow uh, pa make us powerless. But if we learn to channel that fear and, and motivate, use it as a motivation, everything can change. Because we're also motivated by fear. Because if you think about it, you can either be afraid of the change or you could fear the status quo. <laughs> and for Good me, point. I was like, I am not going to live my life. I'm not going back to the corporate world. I'm not going back to New Jersey. Um, I, yeah, I got to keep pushing through. So fear can actually either push you forward or keep you stuck.